Hey guys, welcome to the show. I'm here in front of a Red Lion Tavern in Los Angeles. This happened to be one of the oldest German taverns in Los Angeles. Love this place and I'm here to see my good friend and I should say an Oscar winner, Richard Anderson. He won an Oscar for best sound design for a movie called Raiders of the Lost Ark. Just a small movie with Steven Spielberg. He got nominated for two more Oscars for Daylight with Sylvester Stallone and also for Poltergeist. And he's done so many other great movies. He's done um, Nightmare Before Christmas, which happens to be one of my son's all-time favorite movies, Edward Scissorhand, over a hundred movies. So I'm really excited to have lunch with him today. So come out and check it out. my friend yeah good to be seen <laughs> <laughs> so first of all let's talk about how we met do you remember well we met at the, the Chinese American Film Festival yes uh, I don't remember what year I've, I've gone to many of them year yes a year though I'm not sure if they're gonna have one this year because of the COVID. Right. I don't think so yeah but then we really connected right yeah I mean right I said okay let's let's have lunch let's hang out and then of course you introduced me to this place right but we've gone some other cool places too yeah we were at the deli in um, what was it the one in um, Nate, 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 Niles. Nate Niles right what a at great night. place and their food their sandwiches talking about old days I mean you started when did you come to Hollywood? Like, what, what was I the... I came in 71. I just thought, well, I want to get in, involved in the movie business. And so I got accepted at USC. And, uh, but they, I wasn't a, a film major. You couldn't be a film major until your junior year. So they said, we'll accept you, but we can't guarantee you'll be in the film department. So, I did, so again, I just thought, well, I'll give it a shot. So you just came out here. Right. What a big dream. Right. So did you did but you yeah, I, I, finish the program? Yeah, I finished the program. I got my BA uh, in in cinema. It gives you good preparation and all of that, but uh, you know it doesn't guarantee you a job or anything like right. that. Right. So essentially, you just start over again at whatever like lowly low job you can get in the in the entertainment industry. And um, ironically, my very first job was working on looping a Chinese Kung Fu film into English. <laughs> really? That was my first job. Yes, it was a Taiwan film. Yeah. I think it was called like The Big Fight or something like that. Just looking at the movies that you've done, and I knew of several great movies, but when I really looked at your IMDb and realized how many movies you've done, that's incredible. That's I insane. Think like I mean, that's 40, something like that. Really? Well, I, that includes TV. I think that's, I don't know. That's incredible. I mean, how long did it take you to really get into the business, like get a get a paying job? Well, almost immediately. I, I somebody maybe the other people on the crew. Anyway, we showed a student film we had done, and then we cheated in uh, wild recordings of dialogue later, which I hand cut to met match as best I could so I got hired to be on this kung fu film basically I was everybody's assistant and that was my first job three dollars an hour <laughs> but that was more money in those days I remember going to the movie theater to watch Raiders of the Lost Ark uh -huh. Tell me how did that come about and obviously that changed everything for you but how, how did that come about to work with some of these masters you know Steven Spielberg and George Lucas and those guys well that was my first time with Steven but I had worked with George before on uh, more American graffiti I got the job because again a, a USC connection a good friend of mine Ben Burt um, who's 
got, I think he's got like five Oscars. He's got me beat <laughs> easily. Anyway. You only have one. Right, right. And two nominations. Right, right. Well, we had worked together on the first Star Wars movie. But did you know that that was like the first one and then eventually changed to the fourth one? No, we didn't know because at the time it was just the first one. It was, yeah. the only, it was intended to be the only one. George Lucas in his mind had this whole larger story. But as far as Fox is concerned, it was just going to be a one-off sci-fi movie, and if it made a little bit of money, great. You know, they, the story is they didn't have a lot of faith in it. Um, yeah. No one knew. I mean, when I was working on the film, I said, oh, it's a lot of fun. It's, you know, I like it. But no one knew it would become this cultural phenomenon that it, it's become. The characters are, you know, Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker, and they've just become kind of like part of our... our mythology you know yes. like Hercules and Ajax and yes. all that kind of thing in the in the ancient world you know yeah so but <clears throat> let's talk about some of the current projects and some of the things that you know you're working now and you have coming up yeah well I'm I'm in pre-production for a movie called lead the way it's a, a dramedy about an Asian-American guy who's legally blind and has Asperger's syndrome and he's running for president of the United States. Oh, wow. A friend of mine wrote it and I thought it was a cute little film and so we're, we're in pre-production on that. I did meet a guy, an Asian guy, uh -huh. who ha who's running for president. Mm -hmm. Andrew Yang. Oh, yeah. Very intelligent guy, really fun. So, oh, yeah. if you well, want him to be in the movie, maybe we can ask him. <laughs> <laughs> do a ca cameo. <laughs> Have him do a cameo, yes. Yeah. Yes. But I want to thank you so much, and I actually brought you a present today. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my God, it's not even my birthday today, though no. recently. So, I brought you a Omar Akram oh, t shirt. Oh, my God. So, that's, you know, look at this. I'm in the club. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it looks so good on you. Right. Now I have to Honestly, I have I'm, to shave my head so it's a match like you. Well, don't <laughs> compete with me cuz if you shave your head, but okay. I don't want you to leave well, the I house without this. I can paint hair on your top. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But thank you so well, much. Thank Richard. you so much. Yeah, great seeing you. You guys, thank you so much for watching the show and if you really enjoyed my conversation with Richard, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I will see you on the next show. And watch Lead the Way when it comes out sometimes this fall. <laughs>